So we're back from the e emergency room. Junior had problems breathing, and me, I, I don't know anything about uh, asthma or anything. I, you know, I just know he was so lethargic and could not. His breathing was so labored, and I remember. Excuse me. I remember reading something when they were babies about how many breaths they supposed to take in a minute or whatever and if their chest is laboring to breathe then you need to take them to the emergency room so his chest was working so hard to breathe I was like oh no we gotta go so I got up and took him on honey when, when they measured his oxygen and we got there they started taking my baby clothes and stuff off they were on it you hear me his oxygen was low his um Mom, he's a trick. So here's the dilemma. They wanted to give an IV. And so I had to hold Junior down because he's never had an IV before. And the lady proceeds to try to hit a vein and she misses and trying to wiggle the thing. And then so, um, and so finally she tried, you know, she pulls the neat, the thing out and calls somebody else. I said, now this is the last time. I'm not going to hold him down for y'all to keep on trying to get it. I said, furthermore, just call the doctor in. I just said, just call the doctor. So the doctor came in. I said, is there anything you can give to him without giving him an IV? And so he goes into this spiel about, um, well, you're doing your son a disjustice. I wanted to give him. I said, what kind of medicine was you going to give him by IV? He said, magnesium. I said, okay, well, can you go around it? Because I'm not going to keep holding him down let y'all keep hurting him. First of all, he can't breathe. So if he crying and screaming because y'all trying to give him it's not gonna make his breathing better but anyway he's like you doing your son a disjustice i said okay well whatever so he goes and and um and one of the nurses that came in to do the iv the second time i said just get the doctor because and she's like damn it's to help him okay bye don't get mad at me because i'm not finishing let's just sit here and watch y'all keep sticking my son it's not gonna happen not on my watch so anyway the doctor leaves out and sends them back in with an ep epinephrine shot. They put um, oxygen on his face. They put a breathing treatment. And uh, then they give him um, st steroids by liquid. And so I'm like, um, okay. And then they give him his stuff. He gets better. He can talk because he couldn't even make a full... He couldn't even talk when he got there. He couldn't even make a full sentence which is why on his paperwork it says critical he had critical care today and first of all um i was so crushed because i said what if i let my husband go on to work and just let june just be breathing like that all day i mean oh and mercy thank god for his leading and his guidance honey because my baby was suffering and from the looks of it he was going down going down fast and so anyway, they want him to see his pediatrician in the morning. So we'll go and see her. I'm sure, she, I'm sure she'll send him to a pulmonologist to diagnose what the doctor at the ER thinks is asthma. So we'll see. He's got his uh, um, inhaler and uh, prednisone. So he is in my room in my bed watching cartoons. And that's where he's allowed to stay all day. I don't... <laughs> So he doesn't have any any issues until he gets a cold. He's always, of all my children, always have a croup with a cold. Like, if he gets a cold, he has the croup as well. Um, if he runs around uh, a lot, he'll, get, he'll start coughing and can't stop. So he's the only one of my children with that situation. So hopefully we'll get all that under control and he'll be fine. God love him. So I'm making banana bread. Um, a loaf of banana bread and then a loaf of zucchini bread. So I've never had zucchini bread. I'm excited to have it. I have some zucchini that I need to use. So now on to my zucchini bread. Yes, out comes my banana bread, which is so moist it has yogurt in it. <coughs> Vegan yogurt. Mm -hmm. And in goes my two zucchini loaves. They're going in. Let me tell you something. This banana bread on slam. Slamming. Best banana bread I ever had. It's so good. You can have your You 
mm -hmm. and I made it with almond milk and oil. Sure, the only way I can get my kids to eat bananas. So my husband made some El Salvadorian beans and rice, and so I'm gonna make beans and rice and vegetable wraps. I have the vegan sour cream better than sour cream and the salsa so I'm gonna make me some bean and rice wraps and vegetable wraps so <laughs> this is what it looks like the tomatoes under there this stuff tastes good mm. it's delicious I'm gonna wrap it up ignore my baby I figured I could go to Chick-fil-A and pay $9 for a wrap combo that's not very good. Or I can make my own. See, this is two, four, six, eight, ten meals. Okay? Because these are huge. They're extra large burritos. So I can have half of this with a big salad or I don't know, something else with it. Maybe some chips or something. So, um, and these are delicious. So I love it. My bread is nearly done. My husband just might go vegan because the stuff I've been fixing, he's liked it. So, we'll see. This one's sick too. Look at the nose. How are you feeling? Are you hurting? Yeah. What hurts? Uh -uh. Your throat? Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to go to the doctors. So, I never had zucchini bread. This is the smallest of the two loaves. One loaf I'm going to wrap up and put up, unless it's so good I can't put it away. So I'm going to taste it. I've never had it before. So this is what it looks like. It's so moist inside. Oh my God. Mmm. 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 Why y'all didn't tell me zucchini bread was so good? Mm. I put cinnamon in mine. Some people make chocolate zucchini bread. You can't even tell there's zucchini in it. Mm. Mm -mm. Now that's enough bread for the day. But woo. That is so good. Oh my God. My husband is having nachos for dinner. I'm having vegan, vegan nachos. Maybe these. Where are my vegetables to go in mine and his to go in his. Homemade taco seasoning. And I'm going to make vegan cheese. Yay! Y'all look at this. Here's what mine look like. Looks pretty good. So it's my first time making... Um, vegan cheese so here's the base of the cheese y'all pray for me because if it's not good i'm gonna let you know here's something called nutritional yeast that's what lots of vegan juice to give it the cheese flavor here's my oil Here's some liquid from when I when I boiled the potatoes. So I want you to put that juice in there. And some lemon juice.
here's what it looks like now i could have cooked my carrots a little longer and that wouldn't have looked like that but this is what it looks like oh gosh now for the taste it smells good now let's taste it let's taste this cheese look oh i wish y'all could see that look how stringy it is oh god i'm scared to taste it what wait a minute let me taste that again it's pretty good it's something you probably will have to get used to but just that's funny to me this is potatoes and carrots Mmm. Mm-hmm. Feel me. You can put salsa in there. Tomatoes, onion, bell pepper. It's good. I'm putting it on my nachos. Alright, here are my vegan nachos. Doesn't that look good? You still can eat as a vegan. Love it. <laughs>